welcome back to another episode of Ed Hunts. So today I'm going to be going back to Computer Exchange. I'm going to be chopping in a load more of my boot fair finds and like charity shop finds. Just another set of games that uh, I'm not really playing and don't really have any intention to play or have played and completed and done with. So I'm going to go to Computer Exchange and I'm going to get them for their store value and see how much I can get. So I'll show you the little pile here. Here we go. So there's a box. Snares game there, which is uh, Pebble Beach Golf Links, which is about 14 pounds, I think. So it's mint condition, we've got Asterix, we've got Power Rangers, uh, WW 2K16, we've got Grand Theft Auto, a few Game Boy games, a new Snares game, and a WWF DVD at the bottom. So we're gonna take that as computer change. We're gonna see how much we can get. And we're back. So, just got back from Computer Exchange and I exchanged in a total of 12 games. Um, pretty much every game that you saw in that pile they took. Uh, and I had a couple of extra like little loose uh, Game Boy Advance games as well that they took. And uh, in total, I got uh, one DVD as well, which was like an old uh, Raw is, I think it's like Best of Raw on the uh, WWF, like back in like 99, 2000. And in total, I managed to get £72 exchange. And here's the receipt. Um, fold at the top here so you can't see that. But some highlights there, including Asterix. On the Mega Drive, I've got 12 quid for that. Um, I've got £13 for uh, Mega Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, boxed. I've got £3 for Sonic Advance. I've got £13 for Pebble Beach. Um, I've got £4 for uh, Paper Boy Loose. So, I did alright. I thought, um, considering the games that I exchanged in, again, a bunch of games I'm not really going to want to play or collect, um, I thought, why not? You know what I mean? Do another chopping, see what I can get. So, here's the games that I got with it. So, first of all, I got Home Alone 2, Lost in New York on the NES. Now, <laughs> this is one of my absolute favourite films. Not just Christmas films. Absolute favourite films of all time. I absolutely love Home Alone 1 and 2. Um, and to, like, I know this is meant to be terrible. I've seen the Angry Video Game Nerds video on it. Uh, I've never played it myself, um, but it doesn't really have much to do, you know, with Home Alone 2. But it's so aesthetically pleasing to have this, you know. Uh, unfortunately, it does not have the manual inside it. But, um, the box is in okay condition. It's missing a tab on the left-hand side, um, but it's in its sleeve, and you can see it's there. So that was 15. So quite happy to get that, even though it's not like you know in 100% uh, best condition it could be. Uh, next, we've got Super Monkey Ball on the GameCube. Absolutely love this game. Such a great party game. Got some awesome memories playing this from when I was younger and even more recently as well. Um, and it's just brilliant. I mean, I think it's like one to four players um, where you can just do like past the pad and stuff. And it's just so much fun. I, think it, I mean, this is the first, this is the original, and in my opinion, the best. Um, you've got some great mini games on here. Just, I can't, there's, I haven't got enough superlatives to talk how good this game is. If you've got a GameCube and uh, you've got a bunch of friends to play with locally, I couldn't recommend this more. And then finally, uh, I've got Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, on the Master System, which is also 15 pounds. Every time I see this game, it's really expensive. Always wanted to own it. Um, I know it's, a, it's just a, it's a cool little platform on the Master System. Um, don't know too much about it. I'm not sure. I, I think you get one of these Wonder Boy games uh, preloaded on the Master System, I think, uh, on one certain uh, system, one of the systems, but again, this doesn't have the instructions of it. Sorry, I didn't actually check before I bought them because, like, I kind of just half assumed that they'd be in there. But, like, I mean, I've chopped in stuff at Computer Exchange without its manuals before, and it still take the same money. So, at the same time, I'm not completely surprised, but it would have been nice to, to have the manuals inside. So, I've got those three, and that cost 42, and then I've got a 32 pounds credit note left over. So I got £74 for 12 games and one DVD, and I got three games back, 32 exchange. So I think I did pretty well in total, and um, yeah, pretty uh, good exchange in the end. So yeah, if you've got any old games lying about that you might not think is worth any money, 
look up computer exchange you never know you might get some good trading for it so yeah we've got some more boot face coming up for you this weekend hopefully the weather's been so on and off this weekend it's really difficult to tell whether it's going to be one but hopefully there will be and bring that to you this weekend in the meantime like subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought of the games what would we what would have you done with the money uh in computer exchange and um yeah i'll see you in the next one